Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. I am Brother Kelly Best Davis. I am medical doctor. And tonight we have justifiers. The first is Elder Gongo Onufemi. Since um, 2020, he has been having difficulty in walking. It's obvious he had some arthritis of the oh. Hold on. of the knee and of the joints, the various joints in his body. When he tries to walk, he falls down. But you will hear from him. The Lord has done the miracle. He dropped his stick. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God will do for me. Immediately I come here. God will have do for me. We praise it. Eh? Now stick. Now they take walker. Now I they move with my, without no stick. You are healed. Hold your hands together. I'm here now. Yes, you are. Enjoy your blessing. Enjoy your deliverance. Praise the Lord. Praise. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is Sister Esther Mangiri. She has had a six month old history of rectal incontinence. But today, God has touched her. You will hear from her. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. Just as he has told you, my name is Sister Esther Mangiri. By the grace of God, I've been born again. I've been going through excretory problem. Immediately I eat, I'll go to the toilet. And it will disturb me until I take something before it will stop. My daughter can testify when it has troubled me like that, I will not be able to eat. And when I eat after 8 o'clock in the evening, it will disturb me. The whole night I will not sleep. I will go into Come toilet. out, come out. Praise the Lord. So yesterday when we are coming here, as we dropped from the vehicle, as I was... I. It's a little thing before I left the house. But from the gate to this place, I couldn't come. I had to run to the public toilets that are provided for us. But to God be the glory, during the time our Father and the Lord was praying, he mentioned my case. He said that excretory problem, out from your life in Jesus' name. And then I said, this is my case. I believed it, but I did not come out. I said, let me go home. I reached home to 11, I ate Eba before I slept. But up to this time, nothing has disturbed me again. Praise the Lord. You are here, go and enjoy your blessing. Keep on checking your 
your body because God has healed you. Keep on checking your body. Do the things you couldn't do before because Praise the, God has healed you. Yes, the next person. Praise the Lord. I have here Bro Jacob Ukenuke on the proximal phalanx plantar so, um, palmar surface. He had a growth, but that growth with the pain has disappeared. You hear him now. Praise the Lord. My name is Jacob Ukenuke. I'm from a Delta State in Wales District. I want to testify the goodness of God waiting to do for me. My mother is an member of, she was a member of Deeper Life Shore. She they carry us to go Deeper Life. Since we are young, we are living in Taraba before. We, we used to, we, we they stay calf. That calf, from that calf to where we are going church, with a two hour journey. But we they go church every Sunday. So as I, from there I go Bini, as I was farming in the Bini, I plant things for them. And my wife, he bought. Uh, this shower, this my wife bought for me. If I do farm, if the farm, you don't, you don't the old. This my baby will start a fetting. It will begin to fet, we fet, we fet. Praise the Lord. I'm here to testify what the Lord has done for me. This is my son. He was the wife that they stay for Aushi. So as he farm, they call come me one day say, This is my son. He had no current. So me myself, I call wrong, go that side. I say, eh, What did they happen? So as we go by Pataiko Crusade, I carry and go there. Through the, my, the prayer of God of man, this my soul was totally healed. So the Lord has done so much for me. So as, as we came here, he said, what I to testify, what the Lord has done for us. Praise the Lord. Yes, those who are healed, please keep on coming out, coming out. We want to hear your testimony of God's touch to you this night. Something is happening down there. I would say, don't be in a hurry to go. God is still walking. Amen. We'll entertain testimonies from online now. If there are any. The Lord is doing great things online. Let's bring you some of the striking testimonies as we also take you to witness the life power of God touching people, raising the lame to walk. We begin from YouTube where we have Sister Magdalene Besson who testified that she is grateful to God who has healed her of many years of shortness of breath. But after the prayers of the man of God tonight, at the mention of the final amen, she said she felt something in her and the symptoms she used to have all disappeared. Praise the Lord. And now we show you the footage of a lady. We're told this happened in the Federal Capital Territory. She was at, uh, with them at the crusade uh, where they were listening to the message of the man of God. The picture on your screen shows you that lady has not been walking for many years. She has fasted and prayed and gone to different churches. But at the final amen, her name, Elizabeth Peter, you can see her. She began to walk. You can see her walking. Hold the your hands together. All the way from Bayelsa straight to the FCT. 
and you can see people rejoicing and she is walking. The glory of God. And we can tell you that this redemption is real. It is real. This is coming from the GS Facebook page. Remember the man of God prayed and he mentioned pains in the neck. I mean pains are in, the, in the joints and hands. And this person has written that she's been having, he's been having this pain in the neck. But after the prayers of the man of God tonight, all the pain disappeared. The same thing from James Adache from YouTube also. Paint in the back, paint in the joints, all paint disappeared. We now take you to the south-south Nigeria in a neighboring Benin city here where inflammation of liver and kidney all disappeared after the prayer of the man of God. Benin city, live. Praise the Lord. My name is John Anna from Owashini District, Urubu Group, Benin City, Edo State. Um, early this year, I did a general body scan that um, showed that my kidney and liver were inflamed. So um, I was I was tired. I was confused because the doctor also said that the money for the treatment would cost 135,000 naira. So I didn't know what I was doing anymore. I couldn't concentrate on my work. I was doing absolutely, everything was wrong. So then my, the January um, Global Crusader edition was coming and my parents told me that I should try and attend. And so I did from the first day to the last day, believing God that he would surely do something for me. So after the crusade, I went for an abdominal scan and I asked the, the radiologist that if he could see that my liver and kidney, if they were inflamed. And he said, of course, he could see it from here, but from what he's seen, there's nothing wrong with it, that everything is fine, that I should just give my, the results to my doctor, that he knows what to do. So I gave the results to my doctor, and he said, oh, this is just a normal thing. And then he said, let's have some drugs for me, and he gave the drugs to me, and I took the drugs, and I've gotten my healing. The drug cost just 1,700, and God has healed me completely. Praise the Lord. Bring you another one. Let the Lord. Lady Mrs. Alice, your brother. He made it deeper left, set up for me, set up for me. He got there, 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 because <laughs> Is <laughs> Praise the Lord. Her name is uh, Alice Ogofuna. She was a member of Echirubi and Seraphim before. She saw us preaching one day. She came and started the church. During the Calabar Crusade, she was having this uh, migraine for the past 40 years. And that's how she received a miracle from that time. Because once she put something on her head, her eyes would be running out tears. From that time to now, she could carry something. That dizziness had vanished away. Praise the Lord. We return to the state of Asia. Put your hands together for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. God is mighty. And so we listen to another testimony. Please make sure that you share your testimony with us. We want to hear those testimonies. The next testifier, please. 
Praise the Lord. Here we have Chinyerem Miracle. She has had migraine headache since the past 13 years. And whenever it comes, sometimes she has fainting spells. She came in with the headache last night. She has a story to tell. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Emeka Chinyere Miracle. For about 13 years now, I've been having this migraine headache. And um, every month I experience it. And as I'm growing, it's increasing. To the extent it makes me to faint and have memory loss. But by God's grace, even in the service, as Papa was preaching, I was still experiencing it. As he was praying, the force was still coming. But immediately I answered the last amen, it vanished. I said, may the name of the Lord be praised for all eternity in Jesus' name. That last amen is powerful. Put your hands together. Keep on checking yourself. You will see that the miracle is continuing. The next testimony, please. Praise the Lord. Sister Joy Agbanabiri had left hemispheric cerebrovascular accident with right-sided hemiparesis, that weakness of the right-hand side, what people call partial stroke, for about five months until Taraba crusade. You will hear her now. My name is Sister Joy Agbanabi. By the special grace of God, I'm saved. The Lord has seen me through during the crusade of uh, uh, Taraba. The thing happens October when I was at home. My family, all of them, they are living in Yenagua here. So I went there to do my work there. So reaching that October, I saw myself weighing down. I was so surprised. So I started praying, praying. And uh, I went to report to one of my husband, brother, who is uh, in Sanami, just retired about four weeks, uh, four months ago. So he's a medical, uh, medical uh, doctor. So when I rep report to her, he started treating me. And when he was treating me, I saw myself, this is my right hand, cannot be able to uh, function again with my right hand leg. Just share myself into two. Even this, my neck, succeeds. Every time, just as if something is biting me, I was reporting to my, even my senior sister. Sometimes I would tell her that I went to shout. She so encouraged me to endure. We pray over it. And uh, all the programs, I was attending all the programs since that uh, October, to reaching that uh, Taraba crusade. And the day that man was uh, giving her own testimony that all over her body is uh, paining her, when it is time, when the man of God said that you should hold wear, that place is paining you. You don't even have choice to uh, wear to hold. It will just do from head to toe. And that is what I did. I just uh, gave that uh, testimony. I said that God will see me through this, uh, uh, this Taraba crusade. By the special grace of God, today now, I can use this in my hand. Before, I cannot use this in my right hand to hold this mic. Even to this food, I cannot use this in my right hand to this food for Can you children. raise it up? By the special grace of God, yes. Yes, raise that hand up. That's victory, victory. Full redemption. Praise the Lord. Brethren, we have before us Brother Theophilus, God lifted, the Sweeney. He has had a one-month history of severe elbow joint arthritis. 
And he came with that pain tonight, and something has happened to him. You will hear from him. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. Indeed, God is here. For the past three months, I mean, three weeks plus, getting to one month, I was having these severe pains on my right hand. Besides, ladies, my elbow. I could not use it for to do anything, either to carry water or a bag of pure water. I could not use it for anything, just the left hand side alone. But tonight, my wife said, let us go and attend this program tonight. I said, no. He said, let's go. I said, OK, since you are insisting, let's go. And then we'll be here right from the beginning of the, the program today. And when it comes to the time when the man of God was about to distribute healings and deliverance. And as the man of God was busy praying, releasing, teaching out all that he has. At the end of the prayers, I only feel something just left the hand. This is my right hand side. It is gone for Something you. left the hand, and that was how the hand freed me. Now I can lift it up, stretch it down. I can use it to carry anything. Now, this is one of the good things the Lord has done for me. Put May the name of the Lord be together. praised forever. In Jesus' together. name. Did you hear what uh, he was saying? That when it was time for the man of God to distribute the miracles. And don't forget to catch that. Whenever he comes and gets ready to distribute, get your own and you will be healed in Jesus' name. And so we listen to the next testifier. Praise the Lord. You have before us uh, Mr. Dave Benjo, Benny Joe. He actually had a one week history of pains around his right ribs, what we call costochondritis, severe enough to affect his breathing and even affect his sleeping. Something happened last night, and you will hear him say it. Pray thy Lord. My name is Doug Benjo. I'm from Nimbe, local government area at Abunpolo. The dog passed away with this man, rat, rat rib. I know fit bridge. I know a fish for this rat shash. I know the fish live for this rat shash. When I the bridge, I know fit bridge. So yesterday, by the grace of God, man of God come pray, pray finish. When I shake my, you should make we shake our body. So when I shake my body, there's no pain again. When I sleep for better, there's no pain. So praise the Lord. That is why the God that took me good. It is gone. I thank you, God. Enjoy. testimony. Praise the Lord. We have Francis Emmanuel and tonight the Lord God Almighty has done something for him. He has to testify salvation and healing from pains. You will hear him say it. Praise the Lord. My name is Francis Emmanuel from Emmanuel District Okaka Group. Yenegua Bayasa State, South South Nigeria. Yeah, uh, since the day we had the youth rally, 
the youth walk. I went for the walk, so we were running about, we were publicizing. So people started stepping on my feet. So people were stepping on my feet, and I started having pain all, all over my feet. So I've been suffering for that. I didn't even tell my mom about that. Even, even for me to wear my canvas to the school is a very big problem. Sometimes I would just endure to wear it because I don't want my mom to know about it. I've been believing that when this program starts, I'm, I'm going to get my healing. So yesterday, I gave my life to Christ. So after The greatest miracle. After giving my life to Christ, when our Father in the Lord, Dr. W.F. Komori, came to pour out all the blessings upon us. So I lay my, I carried my leg up, I lay my hand there. After his prayer, after everything, I went to the campground to go and meet my mom because she, she's cooking there. So when I get there, when I started shaking myself, I didn't find anything again. You will not find anything again anymore. It's gone forever. Praise the Lord. We have here uh, Mrs. Regina Kuju. She has had a three months, she had three months history of peripheral neuropathy that disappeared at Abuja Crusade and a recurrent lipoma of the shoulder area. And God healed that Enugu Crusade. She will tell you the story. So she praised the Lord. Praise the living God. My name is Sister Regina Kojo. By God's grace, God has saved me. Praise the Lord. You know, if I don't come out to give this testimony, my heart will never allow me rest. When this crusade, first of all, mentioned, uh, uh, announced, which is the global crusade, the first crusade, I was having big problem of which I was afraid of myself. My husband died of stroke 2019, and last year, before this crusade global, I mean, uh, June, June uh, last year, 2021, when the, before the, gro uh, the global crusade was mentioned, I was having a part of my body as if he want to die. It started with cessation, moving object. Later, it turned to vibration, and I was really afraid my, of myself. The object will move to my head, move from my down, as if part of my body want to fall out of me. Praise the Lord. So as soon the crusade was measured, I, that very day, the day was 22nd, I mean 25th, the third day of the crusade. I came up, I went there, and as if the vibration was more serious, I said, God, the power that we jam this power, it will pull it out of me. And so, after the play, I mean, after the message that day, the message was supernatural living through Christ's collection. After the man of God preached, he went into prayer. And after the prayer, he was praying that whatever may be the problem in our body, that problem will be taken away today. I said, yes, God, I am here. You will take the problem away because I am really afraid of myself. And so, after he, he, he gave instruction for us to lay our hand, and as I put my hand there, I see the vibration of the part of my body was serious more than ever. I said, yes, the power has jammed this power today. So after that prayer, after that very day, till now, 10 months now, because that's the beginning of the crusade, the divine connection at Abuja, where they hold. That day was 25th of that very day. After that prayer, right from that day till now, 10 months now, that cessation, vibration, moving object, I never see it again. Oh, May the name of Almighty God be glorified in Jesus' name. I think that's all right. The next testimony.
Praise the Lord. Mr. Fred Adumo had left shoulder dislocation after a road traffic accident 10 years ago. Since then, he has been having pain and couldn't use his left upper limb to even button his shirt or to raise it up. But tonight, he has a testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Fred Adumo from Rice Estates. I had an accident for the past 10 years and I've been suffering from this, my left hand at this location. I couldn't raise it up, neither turn it. And this evening, I went to visit a friend in the hospital I was passing and uh, my mind said I should drop, drop and uh, join the children of God. I came here after the word and the prayer and the man of God said, just check on yourself, check yourself. And I checked myself. I discovered that the things I couldn't do with this, my left hand, I can do it and I can turn it yes. and I can raise it up. Yes. I just want to return all the glory to God. May his name be praised. It is in Jesus done. Name. Make sure you continue with the people of God so as to maintain your healing. There is something happening in the crowd. Yes. Yes. Let's put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Now I told you, be patient and wait. God is walking. The next testimony. Praise the Lord. Sister Joy Basile had eclampsia following a last confinement which progressed to seizure disorder for the past 12 years. She also had abdominal swelling for the past two years. After the final amen tonight, she felt something. She will let you know. Praise the Lord. My name is Joyce Basil. I'm from my SIE. Hallelujah. I want to use the broken. Praise the Lord. My twin brother, 2018, they killed my brother with, with the same sickness. It's epilepsy. She so, he suffered for seven years. Finally, they killed him. Now, 2020, I got pregnant, my second pregnant. One day, I just fell down. I started fainting. So they started pressing me. On that process, even my sister just saw me on a bike. I was going to the market. So she greeted me. I refused to respond. So she started saying that, ah, my sister, since I know my sister, my sister never behaved like this. So I waited in the airport. They don't know, you know, no say already. I don't die for that. So only God bring me back. So I can't burn the picking, a boy picking. Now be say the epilepsy. Just they do me, you know, stuff for there. With the help of God, our pastor, Pastor Edmond, for Bia, come, they pray for me. The sickness, Tell us what the Lord more. has done now. With the Tell help us. of God, I used to feel something like stone for this, my belly. I say, this program where daddy they come like this, I go receive my healing and my touching. So when I did there, daddy they pray. The last amen, I just feel something come out for my body. When I will put hand like this, that, you know, the guy say, I will come give God the glory for what he do for me. Praise the Lord. It's gone forever. the Lord. Sister Ogbara Rita had a three-month history of fibroadenoma of the breast with severe pain. Fibroadenoma is a, is a lump in the breast. She was healed at Ibadan Crusade. She will let you know the testimony. She also had peripheral neuropathy for the past two months. 
and something also happened. Let's hear from her. Praise the Lord. I'm Ogbara Rita. By the grace of God, I'm saved. I want to testify of the goodness of God. Last year, by October, I was having the challenges on my right breast. There was a swelling of and a pain on my right breast. It didn't continue. The first time I was thinking it was just a minus boy that you just come and go. But the pains continue and the rising up continue. At the time I went to medical personnel to go and ask for tearing, they said they could not tear it, that it would be fibro or all that thing. So I just continued like that. See, December, one of our pastors was encouraging me that I should come to, I should attend the crusade, whatever the challenge is, I should not mind, I should believe that God will heal me. And I came to the crusade in my own place, Frank Bay. We are having that crusade, that period at town hall. So as I was there, I was believing God that God will heal me. So when daddy was praying, when our daddy was about to dish out the blessings from the power of the almighty God, he measured fibro, uh, well, all kind of sicknesses, believe, lay your hands there, you will receive your miracle. I also lay my hands on my breast and I pray, believe that the pains will go. So after that day, I went, I continued attending the program to the last day of the program. The last day when I slept, in the night, I find out that my body was soaked. So I wake up, I say, ah, what has happened? Why my body soaked? When I shake, behold, it was pus, was coming out from my right breast. The pus continued coming out like that. Over one week, it continued coming out like that. See, after it, the pus stopped, a little blood came out and that is how it started drying up. See, December ending, I observed that everything has dried up. That is what God did for me. Then the second, the secondly, January ending, I was having these pains on my left leg. It was it's like as if object is moving. At times, it's to be at my toes, biting me. As if something is biting me. I could not walk. Sometimes when I want to walk, I'll be walking like this, walking like this, just like that. Even when I want to do the rally preparation for this uh, great crusade, I just forced myself. But the last day, I could not continue because of the pain. I went, but I, I just, we have not even run up. I went back home. So I came here on Thursday. I said, God, you, you heal me totally. So as I came, as our daddy was about to pray, he said, lay your hands over wherever is worrying you. I put my hands on my leg. I said, God, I have come to a, a ground of divine solution. That as I'm going, I will go with my blessing. And I pray. After the prayer, I left. When I went home, I slept. I could not feel the pain, but I said, let me check. When they break, I look at the leg. The pain was not there. The swelling, the swelling of the leg, it has disappeared. It is gone forever. And yesterday when I came, I said, let me see Sheik. One my I and testify, I said, I will see Sheik. As I shared even today, what I could not do with the leg, I cannot do. Before I cannot match the leg like this. If I'm matching, I will, I will be pressing the leg so that the place will not pain me. But now I can match the leg. I can use the leg, whatever I want to use. Praise the Lord! Put your hands together. There are testimonies online. We just want to entertain that. Amen. Let's you, take the testimonies online. Just we'll to take you to close. Qatar, where Gaius A. wrote that he had a serious eyesight problem. After the last amen, that problem disappeared. And from there, we'll take you to Cameroon, Limbe precisely, where we have Ada Cecilia, who is testifying of the goodness of God in her life um, and that of her son, because right now, they are free from cholera, vomiting, and purging. Praise the Lord. The next one you see is this picture of this young man. His name, Chidiri Okonkwo, from Oweri, Imo State. While playing around the house a few weeks ago, the young boy you see there fell and broke his right arm. He's been in pain since then. But after the prayer of the man of God last night, we're told that he received special redemption touch. And that hand became 
totally healed. You can see him moving the hand. You can see him speaking about it. Look at his hand raised up. He does a broken arm that the Lord himself has repaired. It is done. I said it is done. And tomorrow is a victory service in the morning. And as we come, you will see something, you will hear something. We shall rise up together as we thank God for all that the Lord has done for us today. How the Lord has visited us, giving us salvation, giving us healing, giving us deliverance, using his servants. Let's worship the name of the Lord and thank him for all that he has done. Let's praise the name of the Lord. Let's thank God for our Father in the Lord. Let's pray that God will replenish his strength. God will empower him for tomorrow. God will show him our needs, and God will use him to deal with any remaining thing in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Father, we thank you very much. We praise your name for tonight. Thank you for all that you did for us today, from morning till this evening. Thank you, Lord, for the people you saved, the people you healed, the people you delivered, and the people you have strengthened and restored. Receive all the glory in Jesus' name.